Well, my name is Father Joseph Hirsch from the Office of Vocations. I'd like to share with you today a story about an elderly priest that I met right after I got out of high school. Father Willibald Hackner, he was ordained in 1915. When he was ordained in 1915, his family gave him a chalice. He used to say it's like a baton in a race. He runs that baton throughout his life. One day when I was visiting him and I told him I wanted to be a priest, he said, Joe, I want to share with you my chalice. He said, when I die, this chalice is yours. I knew that this was the greatest treasure that he had. I used to visit him countless times. But in those visits, he shared with me a, a priestly wisdom. And one of those stories, just one of them, was he said, Joe, you have to recognize in your discernment that there is a journey that you are making in this race that you are on. Right now, you're very young. And as a young person, he says, God gives us many gifts. And as he gives us those gifts, the temptation is to see it all for yourself and to live your life for yourself. But he said, what is divine in that moment is to recognize that God is the source of everything that you have. Humility. Humility is the test, he would say. That you, in recognizing God, you give your life to him and say, Lord, what do you want of me? I'll do anything that you want. He said, there's going to be another test. As you get older, the second phase of your life, somewhere around 40, 50, somewhere in there, the Lord starts to take away the gifts one by one. And as he would tell me stories about his own life, he had difficulty seeing. He had difficulty walking. Finally, he could not even walk anymore. He lost all these abilities until finally he was bedridden. He lost everything. And as he went through this, he did not lose hope. And this is where he says the second phase of life is where everything is taken away from you. And here's the test. Gratitude. He was a man full of gratitude to God for the gift of his life. When he gave me this chalice, when it was given to me after he died, I knew that I would participate in the same journey, in the same race. I think of that many times. When I'm tempted to be selfish, I remember Father Hackner saying, humility. When I'm tempted to be negative or despair or feel a sense of loss, it's like I hear Father Hackner saying, be grateful. That is part of the life, death, resurrection that we are in. Were you in this journey of faith? The Lord has a baton for you. Run the race. As the writer of Hebrews says, let us run the race in perseverance and keep our eyes on the Lord. Wherever you are at in this race, I pray that we be able to see the Lord as the source of everything that we have. And when we experience loss, to be able to be grateful. And when we do that, Ah, the great lessons we have to be able to pass on to the people around us. And when it comes time for us to pass on the baton to somebody else, the lessons we learn are lessons of grace, the lessons of faith. And we then become those runners in that race of life and faith. Thank you for listening.